congratulations, you've come through an absolute stormer out uh, there. Went to extra time, how would you sum that one up? <laughs> yeah, could have been worse, could have lost. Possibility that I lost, but uh, I don't know. Didn't play well, did win, take the win. You didn't seem to be your normal self up there. Normally you give plenty back to the crowd and you're really emotional up there, but you seem to keep that in. Do you think that had something to do with you not playing your best? Yeah, but my doors didn't go as I wanted them to go and they, my doors didn't go as I practiced. So I feel it was, a, not, not with the draw, but when my doors didn't go well, I just have to take all my focus on how to let them go uh, flying well. And, Obviously, they didn't fly that well, but I still won. We saw you talking to Russ at that first break. Was the draft quite bad up there? Well, not quite bad, but um, I always throw my darts the same. They always like, if, if, if this is the middle, they always go a bit like this. So if they like this, I know there's draft. I mean, I throw a lot of darts every week. I know how my darts go in the board. So if instead of this, they go like this, I said, well, I don't think it's me. <laughs> And um, yeah, sometimes you just need to take the circumstances. Um, give me 50 degrees, give me minus 20 degrees, I don't mind. But draft is something that affects my game. It, it uh, affects my game. The quarter you're in in this draw, it's stacked with big players and people that are playing well, but you're in that mix as well. Do you feel you can come through this little quarter? If I play better than today, yeah. If I play like today, I don't. I won't. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Doug, did it always feel like that game was there for the taking for you today? I mean, you had a few chances to break the throw earlier on in the game. No, I never felt like I would lose the game, apart from the two dice you got for the win. Um, I was what I was. Apart from not playing well, I was. I, I felt like I was more consistent, playing better. Um, I think he was farther away in legs I won than the other way around. Sometimes it's a good finish, it's a last dart double. And I won legs where he was far behind. So I always thought I was better, but to be fair, well, he got the two darts to win, and if he takes it out, I'm out. Do you enjoy those type of close battles like that one up there? Um, yeah, I like, I like a close game, but I like winning as well. And I like winning 10 0 above 12 10. Old school. 12-10? 12 12-10, yeah. Yeah, I prefer 10-0, but it's hard to get 10-0, so yeah, it is what it is. We're at the halfway stage of the season. How would you assess how it's gone? I mean, terrific form on the Pro Tour and, and European Tour especially. Yeah, first four months, three months. Lately, it wasn't that good, um, but recently, it's getting better. So hopefully, I can continue that upwards form and go for it. Okay, thanks, Doug. Dirk, are you fully over that, that injury now? Is that out the way? Well, not fully, but it doesn't really bother me anymore. Mm. I, in the beginning, I needed to... If, if, this, if this was my first leg, like, like the leg you throw at the hockey, my second leg needed to be closed, otherwise I would go through my knee. And now I can stand like, like, like this again. If you understand, my, my left leg can go further from my first leg and then I play better again. And, Getting close to 100 averages, hitting 100 averages again, and I didn't do that for a few months, so yeah, I think I'm getting back to my recent form. Is Kim someone you enjoy playing? Because he's quite explosive, he shows a lot of emotion up there, similarly to you maybe? I don't mind. I like everyone that loses against me. I'm not particularly picking out one. I like everyone I beat. Does that not bring about more emotion in you, though, if you're playing someone like this? Well, if, if I play like this, I don't. It doesn't. If, if I play very well, and someone gives it large, it motivates you a lot. But today, I didn't play well, so he gives it large, and I'm like, yeah, you, you're close because I don't play well. You talked about the possibility of Luke Humphries in the next round. Obviously, the European Tour result didn't go your way. Are you really looking forward to having another go at beating Luke? Yeah, but to be fair, that game I didn't lose to Luke. I lost it to my <laughs> own thinking, so it's nothing to do with Luke. So I wouldn't see that as a revenge on Luke. 
not at all. I mean, uh, Luke is a very good player, so I'm playing a very good player. I need to play well. And if that final was more about me winning my first big title, and I didn't do it. Nothing to do with Luke. Nothing at all. Cheers, Dad. Uh, congratulations, Dirk. Do you have any preference on your next opponent? Obviously, we've just been talking about Luke, but would, would you prefer Jose or do you not bother just about the win? I don't mind. I mean, I think Jose is good as well. I mean, we're talking about Luke, maybe a bit, bit disrespectful to uh, Jose, because Jose is also a very good player. But um, if it's either Luke or Jose, I need to play well to win. <laughs> you don't win um, against them the way I play today, so I need to play better. And we've just seen Dim and Hetter's walk on there where he sort of tried to build a bit of resentment in the crowd, possibly, or tried to get the energies going a bit. You're obviously someone who's worked the crowd quite well in your time and, and used those energies to your advantage. Would you have any advice for, for Damon on how he can, you know, reap similar benefits in the future, or...? Yeah, be yourself, don't act. That's an act. I mean, I always listen to this music. Never listen to anything else since I was 13. I mean, be yourself, don't be an act. And I don't do it to get the crowd why not help? I do it because I don't listen to them and anything else. So, I mean, some people say it's a bad music. I use a nice word, but that's what I think. How I think about their music. <laughs> it's hard. hard to go on. Brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> It seemed like your, your your dart was just landing outside of the target a little bit more than normal. Do you just accredit that to the to the draft of the room, and do you just brush that off going forward, or is there any fine tuning that you're going to do for the next round? Uh, there's nothing I can do about a draft. Um, the only thing I can do is not moan about it in my head. Yeah. So if my dart goes left instead of right, then I need to change my position of the hockey, go left and hit, because. You see me changing uh, positioning from the hockey is because I always want to have a straight view at the at my treble uh, at my dart. So if my dart goes this, you will be sending me right in front in that position. So I will hit it. Hopefully I hit it in that position. If my dart goes like this, you normally see me going this way. I'll take the exact same position where if I can hit it straight, I go in it. So this maybe like maybe something I should work on for the next day, but hopefully there's no draft and I'll just go play my normal game. Tough segment, what would it mean to come through and build confidence for the rest of the year? What? Your tough segment with the draw, so you've got, you mentioned Luke Humphries, you mentioned Michael Van Gerwen. If you're able to come through those players and possibly go to the semifinals or go to the final, what would that mean for you the rest of the year? Good tournament. Just yeah. that, huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm on three, I should have won five. And obviously, it's not match plays that I played. It's the biggest one of the year, but... I mean... The big things are in the end. Starting off from October or November. And if you take this one out, it's very good for your rankings. But, I mean... If it, wouldn't that, if, if it would mean that much... I mean... It can always go negative as well if you don't do well. So just take it from where it is. I'm having a good year and hopefully I'm having a good tournament this one. I'm playing some very tough opponents. If I beat them, it's always good. But I mean, there's always next one if you don't. So I don't put everything on this tournament. I'm putting everything on the back, of the back end of the year. That's where I want to perform. And I'm just trying to get back to my best form. I haven't been well for two months. He's trying to get back, and then we'll see. Congrats once again. Thanks for your time.